Wait, what? He had a win. Wait, 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 wait. He had a win right at the end. Wait, where do you have a win? Oh my! Uh... Oh my God! What the? Not nervous because I know I'm gonna win hardly. Thank you to don't don't run on for the four months. Like we're playing. This is Evgeny Nair. This is actually a strong GM that I'm playing. This is a much stronger tournament. Normally I play play like an IM who's like 2400. This is a much stronger player. Actually, wait. It's only 124 players. Wait a second. This is a very small field. Wait, why is this so small? There should be like 300 players. This should be just like Title Tuesday. Or is there some? Is there a rule that only GMs can play? There must be some rule that only IMs and GMs can play in this, right, you guys? No, I mean, 124 is very... There's no... There's no... Um, Anybody can play in this? Actually, you're right. Yeah, Recruits... Wait, so why is, why is the field so small? This is such a small field. 94 here. This is such a small field. It was poorly advertised. I mean, this is just this is a very, very, very small field. Hmm. Bizarre. And what is actually sorry? What is this three zero or three one? It's three one. Okay, three one. Okay. And play a three b four. I also just go C3 and play this, but I don't like C3. So I'm going to go Knight D2 and maybe E4 here. Try to open up the center of the board. I had no, I had no idea it was even happening until you mentioned it on stream yesterday. I, get, I mean, it must be because, like, there should not be 125 players in this. This is going to be a very tight field. It's going to be a very, 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 very strong event um, with so few players. Very few gimmies, that's for sure. Okay, I'll go A3, maybe B4, C4. I can play rookie 1 here at some point, too. Yeah, 125 in 10 round Swiss match checks out. Yeah, I mean, it's a very, uh, I mean, very, very tight field. It's going to be a very, very, very tight event. Don't take too much risk, though. But the thing is, the winning score, unless someone runs away with it, is going to be very low. The winning score is going to be very low in this event. Go here. If F4, I just take, I think I have C4 next move to open up the diagonals. F4 takes takes knight of two knight of two c5 c4 f4 c5 is fine yeah I assume I should just open up the board here with c4 yeah that, I mean I'm just gonna say that that's shocking he does have 95 which I forgot about and of course he doesn't miss it um that's actually a move that I should have seen now the position is roughly equal. Not, not, not much I can do. I mean, I guess I just play the game. But, eh. but 95, I should have seen that. Why did I forget about 95? Maybe it wasn't anything special to begin with. But, hmm. So here I can just take and play queen e2 back. He's also got bishop e5, which I forgot about too. I'm playing this first game very poorly. Got bishop e5, which I just didn't, didn't even think about as a move. I, I only saw ninety two. Yeah, I missed this. I guess I go here and trade. Sketchy start. Very sketchy start. This is probably going to be a draw. Um, we have six. It, it's a draw with correct play, but I could misplay this. Hey, can I guess I'll just go queen e one or something? Just flatten the board a little bit here. Try to go bishop d three or bishop f one. Just really slow this game down. If queen b two, I have rook b one. Trade. Okay, it goes there. I can play bishop d. Three. C three knight c three rook d two maybe or maybe just rook a c one even. I just need this knight is very annoying on e four. So let's just go well bishop e two allows knight c three, but then I can play rook c one. If I get bishop f three, I'm completely fine. I just need to stabilize this before it gets out of control. Flag him. Uh he's uh he's twenty six hundred. Okay, I go here, I can just take. Yeah, this is very dry. Okay, it goes rook c8. I go. I mean, I gotta go here, target the pawn. I think that's a slight mistake. There's bishop b7 maybe lurking here. Slight mistake being the keyword. Probably it's not a mistake at all. 
but he's also running out of time. I just realized. Okay, he goes 94 back. So he bails out. He tries to basically make the draw. Can I flag him or not is the question. I'm definitely going to try. Probably I cannot, but I, I should try at the very least. This H5. Okay, let's go. How do I try? How do I try to flag him? What are the imbalances? There aren't really imbalances here. Let's just go here. I'm looking to go B5 maybe. Okay, let's go here. H4. Okay, I'm going to take. I, I want to play for imbalance. Okay, that feels wrong. Let's go here. I feel like he's starting to make some mistakes. And, and like, he's very low on time. And as long as I can't ever lose, then I'm willing to try to press him on the clock here. Now five. That feels like a bad move. Wait, that actually feels like a legit bad move. I take over C5. Just a pawn. King F6. Rook C5. Hmm. I also go B5, B6. I also have Rook C5. I mean, this is close. Go for this. This is still a draw with correct play. Hit the pawn. I have H5, King G3. Uh, I found this, which is good. Probably a draw now. I should have gone King G3 first. That was poor play by me. Wait, if I go H6, takes, takes. It's actually a draw. No, it's a draw. He's got King G5. And it happens. Dude, King F5. Yeah, I played this game very poorly. This is a draw. I should have gone King G3 first. If I go King G3 first, I might actually win that. This is a draw, of course. Not a good first game. Very, very poorly played. You lose all your points? Yeah. No, it's not a good game, but it happens. I had one chance, one window right here before F4 where I should have used more time. Right here, if I go King G3, I might actually win this game. Probably it's still a draw because it's Rook A2, but there are chances here. There are chances. Yeah, I was just saying, I didn't get what I wanted out of the opening. It was a little bit too dry. A little bit too dry of an opening. I should not have taken on C5. He knew, he knew how to play against it and just petered out into a draw. Not a big deal, of course, because it's only the first round, but still, yeah, a little, little bit unfortunate. With this Swiss system, every draw is devastating. No, actually, it's not because of how few players are in this event. If this event had, um, this event had like 400 players or like usual standings, it would be very different. But with only 129, the winning score is not going to be high. Um, the winning score is probably going to be nine points unless someone runs away. That's like, that's actually the thing. Like there's no, um, it's with such a low field. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be a low score. Nine and a half probably is going to win here based on how few players are in this event. I'm mad. No, I don't get mad. I don't get mad over online events like this. Come on. Uh, I'm just disappointed that I didn't go King G3. I let him go F4 and I mean, I just shouldn't have let him go F4. I'm a little bit, a little bit annoyed that I allowed that, but it still would have been a draw most likely anyway. Only 10 rounds. Yeah. But the thing is, it's, the thing is with, Actually, 10 rounds, you're right. So 10 rounds, the winning score is not going to be 9. I was thinking of 11. Um, so no, uh, for, um, no. So the winning score is going to be, I'm going to predict that it's 9 or, no, I'm going to predict it's going to be 8.5. That's my prediction with so few players. But I could be wrong on that. That's my prediction. Um, yeah, probably 8.5. And, and if someone's really good, they're going to score 9. But I mean, already, look at the number of people who are on 1. Like, if it's only 130 players... How many people are going to be on one? Already it's going to be down to 70, which would be down 35 by round two, which is down to 17 by round three. Like it's going to get by round five, you're going to have like one or two people who are on perfect scores. So it's very quickly, it's going to, it's going to uh, pull, peel off. No chance eight and a half. You think eight at most? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. But yeah, unless someone runs away with it, the w winning score is going to be very low in this event. King G3 was 0.4 instead of 0.1. Yeah, King G3, but it's, it's still a draw with correct play. But who knows if he would have played the correct moves. Bro, can you play with Aiden Ross? Um, okay. All right, so round two should be starting pretty soon. Let me find out, are, are there breaks? Um...
How did the day two Brazil games go? Uh, I only played on one day. They're... Oh, Yavrikert's still playing, by the way. This is a draw, okay. Um... Okay, round two, we're playing at Turnada, 25-42 on half a point. See what the standings are. Yeah, I mean, the standings, like, again, it's going to it's gonna peel off very quickly. After this here, you're going to call it a day. I'll definitely cover... Um, what do I... Uh, let's just get back to playing G6. We're playing an IM here, 25-42. He plays H4. I'll play H5 this time. He drew Yavrikert, who's very strong. So that's, that is impressive. I guess I'll play like this and this, maybe. D4, I can just take and go Knight F6. Okay. Knight c6 and queen a5 is the idea, I guess. Go here, kick the queen back. I can play d6, bishop g7. Go here. Maybe I'll just castle. Maybe I'll play d6, bishop g4 even. Castles. Okay, yeah, there are breaks. Okay, so it goes bishop g5. So I guess bishop g4 makes sense. Target the knight, queen a5. Why is my chess.com flag Brazil? Because uh, I, I moved to Brazil, you guys. Uh, let's go rook c8. Maybe I play knight e5. I have queen a5. I really like my position here. Very, very pleasant position. The queen a5 looks right. Why not? Target the diagonal. Target the knight. I can always castle. Very. There's no attack on the king's... Ooh, that looks dubious. Ooh, that looks very, very dubious. Um, I mean, I obviously have to take. I can go knight e7. I can also just castle, I guess. Just... Uh, I don't really want to castle, but I guess I will. I'm going to play e6. I'm willing to gambit a pawn here because I get a lot of the center here. I don't know if it's right, but I'm willing to at least. Okay, I have to be careful of this knight. No, actually, it's not a trick because the knight holds the queen. I just queen c7. Did I just hang that? That was idiotic of me. I didn't even see that move. Okay, I really need to slow it down. I'm missing everything suddenly. What am I doing here? A four, queen a five. Playing very badly here to start. Here. Move here, I can play rook d eight, I guess. Move here. Bishop there. I mean, I, this is so bad. I don't know what I'm even doing. Um, can take and go rook c7, I guess. Uh, I'll go here. I'll give him this pawn. I'm not too worried. Take. Let's take. Go here. I'm going to go king f8, king e7. I also have knight e5 here, maybe. Four knight g4 c4 I'll take I'm actually fine and now I'm fine now now I'm now I'm a little bit better I think actually I'm not better if he spots the move he does let's go here bring the king in this is, this is a draw with perfect play I don't expect him to play this perfectly but with perfect play this is a draw Let's go here. Rotate the knight now. I don't like e5 at all by white. a4. I can play a5 here. I don't really want to. Rook d7 is probably... Is this winning or not? I don't know if it's winning, but it makes sense. Let's, let's try to get him to commit. Oh, but he just goes back. What am I doing? Okay, it goes for this. I guess I'll go... What am I doing? Yeah, I'm actually playing very poorly today. Oh. What am I doing? What on earth am I doing? Okay, let's go here. Maybe knight h6. a5, I have b6. I basically have to create a pass pawn somehow on the... On the uh, a5, a3, a4, d2, a3. Let's go here. I need to get him to go back to f3. B5 is not good. Let's go back. Maybe here I have A5. A4. 
All right, think about this. Okay, let's go. Let's go here. Okay, am I wrong? Let me see. A5 takes A4. A4, B6. B3, King C, C4. I think this works. A4, A3, A2. I think this is winning. A6. I think this is winning. This should be winning. Before a four c three a three, I can take and go back. Yeah, b six. I go back. My knight's in time. My knight just gets back in time. Now I bring the king to b two and I win the game. So I can take the pawn or not. I mean, I don't see any reason not to take it. I could have tra traded pawns too, but it doesn't matter. I just go king b2 and a2. Uh, wait, Ashley's got bishop c4 now. Wait a second. I should have gone king b3 for this exact reason. <laughs> Did I really just throw this game too? Oh my gosh. Maybe I had a waiting move. King d3, king d2, king. I've got to move quicker here. Oh, I totally threw this game. Oh my gosh, now I just blundered this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here. I just, what am I doing? I'm just throwing this. I could have taken on G4 too. What am I even doing? I'm just not even thinking right now. Yeah, I'm just, uh, what am I even doing? Just throwing so hard here. What am I even doing? Um, let's go check. Wait. I missed a mate, didn't I? There was just a checkmate. I missed a mate. I missed mate in one. Oh my god. I missed mate in two. Oh my god, that was so bad. I got him. I got him. So bad. I get the win. So bad. What am I doing? Terrible game. Terrible. Terrible. Yeah, that was just mate and two. I mean, I don't even know what I was thinking. That was just mate and two. Yeah, I just go check and mate. Like, what am I even doing? So bad, so bad.
Also, that was a terrible game because, I, I mean, King B3 felt right, and then I took the pawn because I thought, well, what, what's the pawn even matter? Would I just go here in King B2? I win because he never gets this Bishop C4. Let's, let's, let's try to put it together a good game here. We're on one and a half out of two. So clutch, yeah, it's, it's a win. Doesn't mean it was good, but yeah. See, thank you to Chris Dombrowski for the two. Very, very poor. Very poor. Is the internet faster in Brazil or LA? Obviously in LA. But yeah. He made a misplay too. Yeah, he made a big misplay as well. So there's a quick draw, actually, guys. You see there's a quick draw. Two guys on two and a half. They made a, made, made a fast draw. Let's play E3. Mental reset. Yeah, I mean, obviously. I'm going to play D4, and I, I think I'm just going to go H3 and G4. Okay, takes. So he's going to take the whole center. I assume he's playing E5, but maybe he's going E6. I don't know which one he's doing. But I get the, I get the double ops, which is all that you can ask for in life. Two bishops is all you can ask for. He's thinking for a long time here. He does it. Okay, I guess I'll just go d3 and queen e2. Just block. I'll take with the king if he wants this. Really, he does want this. Interesting. I guess I'll play... This is a weird position. I think... I honestly don't know what I'm... G4 looks like a good move. Let's go g4 and take more of the center. Just kick this knight out. I'm just going to try to try take tons of space here in the center. So I can always go like rook g1. My king is a little bit iffy on d2, but it's maybe not the end of the world either. So I can always just tuck it back on c1. I mean, I trust that the double op combo is strong here. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. Why am I playing bond clouds? I'm not. I'm just trying to create imbalanced positions, basically. That's what I'm, that's what I'm angling for. Um, okay, let's see. What's he going to do? Is he going to play knight c5? Is he going to go e4 here? Come on, it's good to see you with my flag of Brazil. Yeah, we got to get a win under the flag of Brazil, right? Got to get that dub. He goes there. I mean, queen g3 looks right just to avoid tricks. Yeah, this looks right. Hit the knight. h5, g6. This looks fine. I can always just scoot the king over to e2. Then you'd have pabs dubs for the prime. Okay, he's trying to be cheese cheesy with knight c5. Of course, I'm not going to hang a fork on e4. I don't know who he thinks I am, but I'm, I'm not that bad at chess. He goes d4. I'm exhausted? No, I'm not exhausted, actually. I feel very good, which is why it's a little bit weird that I'm not playing well. Okay, I can take... I mean, what is the idea, though? If I go a4... Ah, he wants to go e4 and smash. But I can take... I mean, rook d1's also a move here. I think rook d1 looks fine. Let's just go... Yeah, let's just go here. So if he takes, I can just take... Maybe I should have put the other rook on d1. Maybe slightly better. Knight b5. Let's go a4. If knight c3, I just take. Not so worried about that. I actually am quite happy. Interesting. Okay, I'll move my king back. Now I'm going to go king g1, bishop g2. Maybe d4? Not yet. Okay, let's uh, go here maybe. I really want d4 badly. He does have this, but I have queen c4. Yeah, he wants, he wants this knight a6, knight b4 idea. This is his whole plan. I just can hit the queen. I can also play d4 here. d4 takes bishop g2. Looks fine. I'm going to have to take and I'm going to go bishop g2. He has to move the queen. Not takes, by the way, because then he has queen h1. Looks pretty good for me, actually. Looks quite decent here. I mean, he has knight e4. Okay, he goes queen six now. I can take the pawn and take the pawn. Queen d4, knight e4, king g1. Looks playable. Rook d4 is also a move. Queen e6 is also a move. So many options here. So I take knight e4, I trade, and then I trade, and then he takes, and I go rook d4. A very slightly better, but it, can I actually win that? Probably not. And I already gave up a draw, so I can't really afford... More draws. My instinct says I should just take and take and go rook g4. I have rook c4 and rook c3 at the end of all of this. Rook c4 to hit the knight and then rook c3. Now do I take or go king e1 is the question as well. King e1's... I, mean, I guess it makes no difference. So let's just take. So I have king, king e1 here. 
Let's remove that rook. If he goes rook d8, I have bishop e4 maybe. I have bishop e4, bishop d3, which should be good. Yeah, this should be good. I think I'm better here. I don't know if I'm winning, but I'm definitely better. Takes rook d8. Okay, so now I go here because I want bishop d3. I think I'm much better. I think rook d4 was a very good move that he missed. Rook d4 hitting h4 looked right. Because now he's going to have to go back. And now I'm going to be able to unwind with like rook d3. And I'm just going to be up a pawn in endgame. Doesn't mean it's winning, but I should be better. So let's just go here. Get rid of a set of rooks. And then just play an endgame up a juicer. I go king e2, of course. Or d2. Let's go to e2. And now what I need to do is I need to unwind this. Let's go... Uh, he wants knight c3 or something. Okay, whatever. Let's just go here. Just go here and here. Let's re put the king back on e2. Now his knight is worse place than it was before. I think I think now... I, I mean, it's an extra pawn in an endgame. Hard to believe that this isn't win very hard to believe that this isn't just winning for me after f4. I have rook c1. Not e4, because then he gets the rook here. So let's go. Let's go here, maybe in h5. I don't know if it makes sense. Let's go h5. Go here. Do I want to go h6? Is also a question. I also have d4 here. My instinct says that I should probably trade and go rook c1. Let's think about this. Yeah, this must be right. And actually, I can go e4, and his rook is actually... Oh, I'm trapping his rook. I just have d4 next to him. His rook is stuck. His rook is just stuck. I go d4. He can't prevent it. He goes here. I go d4. Pawn, the, the, walls, the wall of pawns just holds all the critical squares. A okay, good win. Two and a half out of three. Let's move on to round three. Okay, already, you guys, look at these standings. I mean, already, I'm saying, look at the number of people on three. It's very few people on three already because of how few people are playing in this event. Like, it's already very limited. The number of people who are on three is very low. Pawn Phalanx? Yes, exactly. No, Daniel. No, Daniel is a commentating, apparently. He's, uh, he's choosing to commentate rather than play, which is very weird. I don't understand that. 100k for first, not exactly, no. That would be nice, you guys. That'd be very, very nice. But anyway, we're doing well. Two and a half out of three, pretty solid start. Keep chilling. Well, he gets paid. I mean, of course you get paid for commentary, but but still. Minlay versus Penguin. I would say, though, as a player, like, I, I don't mind commentating. I enjoy it. But, like, you always, if you're if you're a true player, you always want to get, you want your hat in the ring. You really want to have a shot against the best players. Um, So, yeah, I mean, I will, I, if I have the option to play versus commentary, I would always play. Because you, you got to want to throw your hat in the ring. I mean, you want to, you want to play against these guys as, as a true player. I mean, that's, that's like the goal. It was 100k, would I play differently? No, I think I would actually play pretty similarly. I might play a little bit more in terms of, like, main openings. But objectively, no, I, I don't think I would change anything. Oh, Dan is sitting on his rating? Oh, right, because probably he has a really high rating right now. So he'll probably lose a bunch of points. Yeah, that's actually a fair point. He is a streamer, unlike you. Uh, he's a streamer, unlike me. I'm a streamer. <laughs> what do you mean? I stream every day. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> what are you guys even talking about? <laughs> what are you guys even talking about? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'll, let me let me go check that, actually. Let me go to Sully No. Uh, let, let me see. Let, let me check. Um, let's see. Okay. He's a streamer unlike me, Cap. But yeah, let's see. Daniel's 30-day hour streamed is 39 hours streamed. Um, my 30-day hours is 140. <laughs> I streamed 140 hours. He streamed 39 hours. Good one, you guys. Good one. Uh, <laughs> good one. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, round four. We're playing Shugara, very, very serious player. Uh, but again, the thing is, I gave up a draw. There are only ten people on three points already. Ten people. Um, I assume I should start stabilizing a little bit because I know that a huge score is not going to win it. Like, it draws are okay. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Let's go here. We're already, we're already in the very serious zone. Prize is 2,500, yeah. Um, I can go here and here. I 
you to GM Hans for the 21th. Actually, wait, Hans, why are you here? Shouldn't you be in charge of playing a game of chess? Wait, Hans, why are you here? You should not be here. You should be in charge of preparing or something. Why are you watching my stream? Um, actually, seriously, Hans, why are you here? Oh, you finished your, your game? Okay. Like, okay. <laughs> like, Hans low-key distracting me. Yeah. No, it's not, it's not, I'm not actually being rude. I just mean Hans is playing a very serious tournament in Charger right now. Um, but I guess his game ended. I got a notification for 20 months, so I just described, yeah, yeah, it's all good. Uh, good luck in Charger. Uh, yeah, those of you who are wondering what I'm referring to, Hans is playing a turn. E5 is not the move. E5 is not the move. Uh, I guess I'll go here. E5 is not the move there. If you're playing for Queen F3, this is not the order. Um, yeah, but Hans is playing a tournament charge uh, uh, right now with, with a lot of top players. So that's why I was just surprised to see him. Anyway, this doesn't look right because I also have C5, I also have C5, C4, the Lasker hook trap in the night. This doesn't look right. I'd have, this just does not look right. I know this isn't the right, how you're supposed to play this. Hey, champ for the 10 gift is Thanks so much, champ 1977. Now, do I go 97 or do I play H6? Am I worried about bishop g5? My instinct says I am worried about it, so I'm going to play h6 first and 97 in castles. I have a double op combo again, you guys. The classic Malcolm X here. So I'm doing pretty well. I can just castle, although... Looks pretty decent. No pairings yet for the next round, so I can relax a bit. Nice. Hans who? Hans Neiman. He's a strong GM from the United States of Apple. Um, He wants 94 knight of 6. Still not clear how I'm, what I'm doing here. I guess I can take. I'm going to knight f5 or knight c6. I mean, very... It's going to be hard to win this game. I'm already feeling like it's going to be difficult. Bishop f4. I can play knight f5 and rook e8, maybe. I can also go rook e8 right away. Okay, let's just go here on the knight f5 next move. Makes more sense. Well, he has this and this. This, maybe. Pretty balanced position. I don't think I don't think I have an edge. I don't think he really has an edge either. There's queen d3. So he, he wants rook d1. Logical. He can also go g5, knight g6 maybe. Again, it's very dicey to play like this. Hmm. No, I, I don't want to do that. Let's see. How do I play this then? I'm trying to create imbalance. So I guess I'll go knight f5 and queen e7 maybe or just d6 and trade. I also can go bishop c6 maybe to hold the pawn. I think I need to win already. I think we're already in almost must-win territory. I'm going to go here. Which I normally would not do. I'd probably go d6 and make a draw if this was just a regular game. But I do need to try to create imbalance. Knight d5, that's a good move. Um, is e6 a threat? Kind of not really. At the same time... Okay, I can play rook... Uh, he has knight b4 too. Okay, I'm, I'm up on the clock though. So it's not the end of the world. D6 takes, takes rook e8, bishop e8 looks okay. D6 takes, knight d6. Don't like the position that much. It's still fine for me, but I'm not in love with this. Yeah, I can also go knight e7. No, no, the knight f6 is bad. Okay, so d6 or a5 are the only moves on. e6 really a threat. I'm going to call his bluff and play a5 and hope that I'm not blundering something very obvious here. I guess he goes c4. He plays h3. Okay, let's go. I'll just go here. h3. I can still take and go knight h4, I guess. I feel like I'm misplaying this game too, though. I don't feel like I'm playing very well today. Knight e7, knight e5, maybe. Let's go for something that's imbalanced. It's going to get wildly imbalanced here, so I don't know what's going to happen. He's almost certainly going to play knight f6. I'm going to take, go knight d5. Okay. I'm going to take and go here. I mean, this is going to get imbalanced because both kings are going to be open. His king's open. My king's open. It's going to get wild. I can take on f6. I thought queen e6 was the move. I can also just take and go... No, no, I don't. I can't take. Let's go... Go here. I can play rook e8, but then he has rook e1. Trade rook h1. It's... Runs the king to h4. I'm not thrilled. So let's just go here, I guess. I don't know if this does anything. I'm trying to get rook e8 in. This is the goal. Rook e8. Not happy with the way I'm playing this game either, though. Still slightly off. Just a little bit off. 
But he is low on time, which is important. Okay, let's go. Quincy 5 is 94. How do I get my pieces activated? Let's just go here. I should have gone Queen F8 and Rook E8. That was a much better way to stabilize it because it isn't really ideal. Still not losing or anything, but I'm not happy at all. Takes, I can take or take. Again, I'm probably getting mated though on the king side here. This just doesn't look right. He's low on time. That's the one saving grace for me. There, okay, obviously I go here, hit the bishop. Just there, I can take the pawn, I guess. Now, let's just take and go back. Avoid any mates. It's going to be very hard to play this, though. Let's go here. Got to flag him. I'm going to have to play on the clock here. Let's think. Knight f6, queen e7. Okay. Go here. Knight f6. That's my idea. Go here. I have knight f6 still. Queen c4 is a very, very good move by Shugarov. Also, no time either. I guess I should just trade it. Go here, queen c6, some idea. Nah, I feel like I'm misplaying this. Let's take. Again, I misplayed this. I'll still be able to draw this, I think. Why did I do that too? Throwing. Yeah, I'm just misplaying everything. Not feeling it for some reason today. I also have no time. Oh, geez, I really have no time. Um. Jeez. What am I doing? Maybe a draw, cheese. Jeez, terrible game. I somehow draw that, which I guess is okay. It's it's okay, but man, that was terrible. Thank you, just an actor for the uh so I'm saying pick a volt for the seven, then you to pick a volt for the tier one and shrug shrug molt for the uh the prime it was like plus five after queen that was a terrible game um but i drew the game if i lost the game there i think i'm out of it already but it draws draws okay because i can still win some games now but yeah my rhythms are very off my rhythms are very off very very off i had like point i had like point five right it was very close to flagging there yeah i was very close to flagging yeah again people are on four points but it's it's gonna flatten out even more so yeah good save yeah yeah it was so bad I actually don't know how I uh how I survived that. He was completely winning until um he was winning until he did yeah, right here he goes king g6. And then he can go over. I believe this is the winning line cuz now when I check he just takes and this must be winning you assume. Maybe eh, yeah, it's probably winning. I had point 4, yeah. Very bad. Anyway, 3 out of 4, not ideal but it's still okay. He blundered right at the end. What? Wait, what? He had a win? Wait, 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 wait. He had a win right at the end? Wait, where do you have a win? Oh my... Uh... Oh my god. What the... Oh my god. I So but, so I just check and it's a... This is just a draw, but oh man. Okay, that's terrible. Okay, yeah, that's that's horrendous. Okay, whatever. Yikes. Big yikes. All right. We're on the break. I think you guys were on the break. Um, so there's a break after round four again, as always. So I'm going to take a short break. I'll come right back. And yeah, I, I, I need to sharpen up. I'll be right back. I'm going to splash my face with water. All right. Thank you to Dank Pond for the three months. Thanks so much, Dank Pond. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for the resub. Yeah.
all right so yeah so, so i think we're starting pretty soon tournament and today this is just one qualifier of many what are you guys doing um yeah i'm eating a banana exactly yeah i'm eating a banana because i'm in brazil that sounds vaguely racist um That sounds vaguely racist. Maybe it's not, but I don't know. And maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Don't they have plantains? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, three out of four. Um... Yeah, I haven't lost any games. I've just drawn twice. But the thing is, like, so far, it's okay. Um, but I'd be very careful. Because the thing is, I think I can afford one more draw. But already, I, I, I mean, if I lose a game, I think I'm toast. So I'd be, I'd be somewhat careful here um, as, we, as we head into the home stretch of the event. Hey, you know, Fing Cypher for the Tier 1. Thank you so much. Cruella DeVille? What about Cruella DeVille? I don't know what you mean. Yeah, it's also, it's only 10 rounds. It's not 11, so that's also why. But already you see, guys, look at the people on three and a half. You've got one, two, three, four, only six people on three and a half. So it's like, it's already a very, very tight field. And we're playing Rustamov. Okay, let's go Knight F3. This is a guy I was playing on the other other one. Um, I was playing him yesterday in the Speed Tricks run. I don't want to go into a French. I'm going to play Knight F3. Okay, let's play E3. I'm going to play very... Very traditional now. No nonsense. Go here. Okay, let's play a Slav. Am I in Brazil for the Capybaras tour? Yeah, we're playing for Brazil. There's this one. Okay, let's go here. Knight H4, of course. And it goes there. Okay, I think Queen B3 is still the correct move. Okay, I think Bishop D2 is... Still correct. And bishop e7, you trade. Does this one so you take? He has to take with the e pawn. And taking castles. Actually, knight bd7, I think this order is slightly wrong. Let's see what he's going to play here. Look at jealousy woes for the seven months. Thank you so much, jealousy woes. Appreciate it. Thank you. Probably I go h3, bishop d3. Very sort of traditional approach here. There's b5. Yeah. I think I might have misplayed this. Let's go queen c2 here. I think I actually was supposed to go g3, bishop d2, and castle king side. Not castle queen side in this line, but it's what it is. Rook c8, logical. And play f3, g4. Yeah, h3 g4 also makes a lot of sense like bishop d3 knight e2 maybe it's kind of scary though I'm, I'm not gonna lie it's kind of scary here but the good thing is already i'm in a must win i'm in must win territory so because i'm already in must win territory it's actually pleasant to be in this situation i think g4 takes is no good let's just move the king prophylactic knight b6 again logical move i can play b3 i don't like it i think i'm just gonna play here and bishop c1 and maybe knight e2. I've got to go g4, g5 at some point. Go back. Okay, I'm going to go g4, g5. Force knight to the wing. Very sharp position. But it's exactly what I want here. At this point in the game, I need something that's very complicated. Let's go here. Here I go h. Okay, it goes there. So I go h4. His knight is trapped on the rim here now. Oddly enough, maybe I could have stacked there, possibly, but still like my position here. This is a big threat potentially. His knight is rimmed. Okay, now he's giving me the pawn. Do I take it or not? 
Survey says, survey says it's a free pawn, so let's take it. This knight is trapped, I can just take it next move. No jumps anywhere. All squares are covered. So I think I'm just up two pawns here. Doesn't mean I'm winning or anything, but I think I'm in good shape. I also can take and go g6, queen h7, which should just be winning. My attack feels quicker than his attack on the queen side. I need a Kuba for the tier one. I need a legend X for the tier one. Okay, I take. I mean, my attack has to be quicker. So h5, h6. If he goes queen f7, I just trade. Okay, but I mean, I'm just up a pawn here in this end game. Not that it's winning easily, but it's a pawn. Pound is pound, as they used to say in old Russia. I can also play rook g1, maybe. I can also go knight e2. So many options, so little time. Um, g1 actually looks, eh. The right way to play this. I can also just drop back. I think I'll just try to play this as an end game. Not an endgame, sorry. I'll try to play this with queens on the board, like h6, maybe. Maybe just rook g1, maybe f3, 2. Play f3, which looks pretty good. Go f3, stop knight e4. I'm gonna play h6 and rook g1 next move. Wow, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Thank, thank, I mean, first of all, obviously, thank you for your service. Uh, thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And that, you guys, is why you stream at the end of the, end of the day. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Play H6 here. That, you guys, that, that's really, that's, that, that's, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, now, uh, in the meantime, however, we are a little bit low on time. So, not low on time, but, I mean, not, not clear-cut position. This is what I want to play. Knight d4, hg7, x takes, knight f3. Hmm. Did I misplay this, maybe? I guess I can just trade. Just take and take, I guess. Takes with a king. Um, I thought that was a little bit wrong. Okay, let's go... Um. Check and work up one. I, I want to go e4 here. Okay, now it gives me e4. I can take and go knight a4. Actually, I just go here and here in one go. It's actually very bad for black. It takes, I check, I take the pawn. Okay, now this should be winning. I've got two connected pawns. Yeah, this is over. E5 just wins. Yeah, we just fork him. Go check and take and then take. Okay, we got the dub. Move to four, four out of five. Big win.